Yo guys, check out instantmaddencoins.com. They're having a killer deal right now. All coins are doubled. If you buy one mil, you get additional mil for free. Check out this limited time deal, guys, right now, instantmaddencoins.com. Make sure you use code JAB at checkout for 10% off. Yo, JAB fam, what is up? Just a bro back again on Madden Mobile. And today I'm going to go through pretty much every section of Madden Mobile and try to determine what EA should fix instead of limiting pro packs and limiting packs and lim limiting coin packs. The minor thing, not even minor, the other things that they should actually worry about so they can satisfy us as the customers and players of the game. So first off, we're going to start off with tournaments since it's the first option in front of our screen. Tournaments, the biggest complaint I have is, or two complaints. One, when you tie, when you tie against an opponent, you both lose. You both lose a ticket, which is just completely unfortunate. I don't know why it's like that, but that's how it is. That needs to be fixed. Number two, for, for tournament, when you find a match, like a random match, it'll expire. If you find an opponent, it'll expire. And... So for some reason, neither you or your opponent will be able to play, and you both lose your tickets, which which just sucks completely, because the match is expired, and you can't play your, your drive, unfortunately. So those two need to be fixed for, tor for tournaments. Moving on to live events. Got nothing to say live events. Live events are actually pretty cool. Every single day, you know, there's a variety. Can't really complain. Love the power line. Love team of the week. Love top 100. That's all great. No complaints for live events. If you guys have any complaints, leave in the comments below. Long shot, I feel like just long shot, there just needs to be more of a variety. Uh, we can be going, you know, one month, two months with one month and two months into the game and just have two long shot promos like Devin Wade or Colt Cruz and then Antonio Gates. Like we should probably, uh, it would be nice maybe, I don't know, every two, maybe three weeks we could have another long shot promo. That would be cool. Or they could just update it instead of these, what, six live events maybe they can add a few more so we can get more of the training collect collectibles instead of having a chance at the long shot training items so that would be cool right there uh with leagues um i don't know man it's tough because my league is what what are we ranked right now 178 right now it would be nice if we could get connected or matched up with teams that are on our same level at like competitive wise because we do get a bunch of matchups like we're 178 we'll get matched up with someone in the rank 5000 or someone in the rank 3000 i don't know I, I would like more competitiveness and you know better rewards would be uh, would be cool as well i mean I, we already got the zeke we already got the dez we already got the dak prescott will be nice if they updated these league the leavers league achievements as well i'm not really going to talk about the marketplace we all know what the issue is here i'm skipping completely i'm skipping over that just take off the limit of pro packs and don't make yeah, just don't do this. I know I've seen some rumors that you guys would make pro, like let's say they would lift the limit on pro packs. However, every elite pull from a pro pack would be non-auctionable. That would suck completely. No one is gonna want to open pro packs. Moving on to head to head. Head to head's cool. The rewards for head to head, yeah, if you hit Hall of Fame, you get the 400 mana catch. That's really awesome, and the Hall of Fame coach pack. Uh, after a month, obviously. However, maybe give us like a non-auctionable elite player. That would be cool. You know, something to really strive for for Hall of Fame. I already got my 25 collectibles for the 100 overall Master Tom Brady. So I really have no point to play Hall of Fame anymore. So maybe if you guys give us another in uh, incentive to continue playing Hall of Fame after you earn your Master Brady, that would be cool. As well, when it comes to head-to-head -head or tournaments or league versus league, major, major problems with uh, the right tackle not able to block uh, the defensive lineman, and if a play is not countered, that defensive lineman is going to just wrap around that right tackle. In the spl split of a second, you're sacked for a massive, uh, massive loss of yards, which kind of sucks because it pulled. Let's say it's first and ten, you drop back on a, I don't know, a motion cross, and defensive lineman comes around that right tackle, you're sacked. Boom! It's now second and twenty. So second and long. It's kind of hard to get out of that, if unless you just lob a Hail Mary. But I don't want to lob a Hail Mary every single time. So if that gets patched, that'd be cool. Season, no complaints with season. I mean, you just got to grind. Season is the most tedious thing in the entire game. You just got to grind season mode, unfortunately. And training players. There, I saw something on Reddit. Let me read it to you guys. See if you guys would agree upon this. But let me let me, let me show you right here. All right, so on Reddit, Threes is Bangs. Post this. Um, EA should sell an option, you know, have approximately 500 mana, ca 500 mana cash that allows you to reset a trained player back to its base status, thus allowing you to sell it 
in the auction house. That would be pretty awesome. You pay five bucks. Let's say I want to. No, no, Dak would not work because he's not auctionable. Let's say. Let's say right here, my Bruce Matthews. I did not train him because I want to sell him eventually. But let's say I wanted to. I'll say he's a 99 overall. I want to reset him. I can pay the 500 Madden Cash or whatever Madden Cash EA decides upon. Convert him back to his base status and then sell him back into the auction house. That's a, that's a really awesome idea. Another idea, since there is a limit on packs and lots of pulls you get are non-auctionable, some if you're lucky are auctionable, another idea from 26.2pipe dream on reddit, for non-auctionable elites that we pull from packs, live events, or sets allow us to pay to convert them to auctionable versions. So he's saying if you pull an 80 overall, pay 100 Madden cash to uh, have it auctionable. Or if you pull an 81 overall, 200 Madden cash to have it auctionable. 82 overall, 300 Madden cash to have it auctionable, etc., etc. Not only does it allow free-to-play players to save up their cash to convert players, but it increases the supply of elites in the marketplace and minimizes the inflation we're seeing. And it creates additional revenue for EA because people would spend real money to convert them. Just a few ideas to put out so EA could possibly, possibly improve the game. Because honestly, guys, we all know Madden Mobile is at a complete and utter downfall right now. Uh, it's kind of hard. I mean, the game is still, it's fun. It's fun to play. But if we just had more promos, if we just had more coin packs, it'd be nice to have unlimited coin packs, but obviously that's not going to happen. But anything like that, would just anything mentioned earlier in the video would be awesome if EA fixed it. And also the new NFL Top 100 event came out. They finally released the event where if you're an 80 overall, you can get yourself... Uh, some of the new players. Let me see quickly. There's Joey Bosa, David DeCastro, Harrison Smith, Justin Houston, Cam Newton out. Really awesome players right here in 80 overall. And as well as the new 90s that were released. And they are just absolutely skyrocketing in price. Alex Smith, Marshall Yona, Jadavian Clowney looks absolutely unbelievable. There's uh, Alex Smith. I already mentioned that. Akeem Talib, 82 speed though, 88 man, 90 zone. You have Cam Chancellor, 82 speed, 86 zone. I kind, of want, I kind of want to know the hip power. I love the artwork, though, on Cam Chancellor. Then you have Landon Collins, absolute beast right there. There's a Julio Jones, Travis Frederick, the Richard Sherman, and Dominican Sue. I mean, this is, this variety is awesome. Uh, let's see here. Where's Julio? I'm looking for Julio Jones. And there he is. Oh, my days. What a freaking player. 87 speed, 87 catch. I would love to see him boosted to a 99 overall. But, man, very, very nice a variety of players that were released. Richard Sherman looks really nice as well. But that's the new NFL Top 100 event. But that's pretty much the end of the video, guys. I really want to thank you for watching. Just putting my two cents out there, seeing your two cents in the comments as well. Reddit, Mudhead, Twitter, Instagram. It all comes in clutch when I read everything that you guys compile up. Because, hell, I'm, I'm trying to make this game, I'm trying to improve this game as well. I'm a small voice in the community, but it all comes a long way towards the end. So hopefully EA can actually end up listening to all of us, and they'll decide what's best for us as well, and for them as well. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Drop a huge thumbs up on this video if you enjoyed it. Leave a like on this video if you enjoyed If you enjoyed it, and if you agreed with me, if anything, leave, smash that like button. Subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Thanks for watching, guys.